welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at synthetic pathways and we're going to be bringing together all of the work that you've been looking at on organic synthesis. I'm going to put up a series of examples where I want you to work out the type of reaction that's happening in each step, the reagents and if possible a mechanism for each of them. So here we have our first synthetic pathway. You have this molecule going to this molecule here and then a further two, three, four uh, steps to bring you to this larger end molecule. Pause the video now and try and work out type of reaction for each step, reagents involved and any mechanisms that you know. This reaction has a number of steps. At the side I'm going to write down what the type of reaction for each of the steps is and the reagents involved and underneath I'll do any uh, path Underneath, I'll do any mechanisms that we have. So for step one, this is a nucleophilic substitution. To get from the haloalkane to an alcohol, you need to use potassium hydroxide and specifically it needs to be in water, so aqueous. For reaction two, this is another nucleophilic substitution. But this time you're replacing the Cl with a Cn, so you're going to use NaCn and this is in ethanol. Number three is from Cn to a carboxylic acid, so this is an acid hydrolysis using acid and water. And then finally step four, you're bringing the two together to give you an ester, so this is a condensation reaction and you would need concentrated sulfuric acid for that step. For both step 1 and 2 you would have an SN2 mechanism, you have a primary haloalkane here and you're substituting the halogen for either the OH or the CN, so I'm just going to show one of the mechanisms, so I'll do the one for making the alcohol. So it's best to draw this with your carbon in a tetrahedral arrangement with the halogen off to the side and just join together all the other in um, the chain as a group like this. We're going to have OH- as our nucleophile and that is going to attack from behind into the carbon and the chlorine is going to start to remove. We're then going to have the five-membered transition state where you, you have the OH bond starting to bond onto the carbon and the chlorine bond starting to break but you still have the hydrogen and carbon bonds here and then finally the O to C bond fully uh, is fully formed and the carbon to chlorine bond completely breaks to give you an alcohol. This would be a similar mechanism for step two, but instead of using OH minus, you would use CN minus. Here we have what looks like a very simple reaction. You have a haloalkane becoming an ether. For this, you need to know what the type of reaction is and what reagents you would have, and you can also draw out the mechanism for this. So we're starting off with bromoethane here and we're ending with methoxyethane. So the bromoethane is the haloalkane and we're going to undergo a nucleophilic substitution and our nucleophile is going to be CH3O minus. First of all you need to make the CH3O minus so the reagents involved are methanol and sodium. If you react an alcohol with a reactive metal such as sodium, you will get an, eth uh, an alkoxide. So we're going to get sodium methoxide and hydrogen gas given off. The sodium methoxide can then be reacted with the bromoethane to give you the ether. The nucleophile looks like this. 
And again, we're going to draw the haloalkane in a tetrahedral arrangement. And as this is another primary haloalkane, you'll get an SN2 reaction. So the nucleophile will attack the carbon and the bromine will start to break. You will have the five-membered transition state. And then finally, the bromine bonds will break to leave the ether. In this next example, it's a three-step mechanism. So we're starting from a haloalkane, then we're going on to an alkene, which is then moving on to an alcohol, and finally an ester. Again, for this, I would like you to know the... Again, for this, you should know the type of reaction, the reagents involved, and any particular mechanisms. So in the first step, you can see that we are going from a haloalkane to an alkene. So step number one is an elimination reaction. And to carry out an elimination reaction, you need to use KOH in ethanol. Step number two, we're going from an, alke an alkene to an alcohol. So this is an addition reaction. Specifically, this is the acid catalyzed hydration reaction. So for this, you will use H plus and water. And the final step, we are going to an ester. So this is going to be a condensation reaction. To create this ester, you're going to need methanoic acid. And concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst. Let's look at the mechanisms for the first two reactions here. So for the base induced elimination reaction, The base will come and attack this hydrogen adjacent to the carbon where the halogen is. This bond will then come in to form the double bond and the bromine will leave as a bromide ion. For the acid catalyzed hydration reaction, the first step is for the acid catalyst to add on. So the acid catalyst will add to the carbon where there is the most hydrogens already added. So that is this carbon here. So we end up with CH3 and this leaves us with a carbocation intermediate here. The water then attacks with the lone pair to the carbocation intermediate. And the water is positively charged now. So this bond breaks to return the lone pair and we form an alcohol. This final reaction looks quite complicated, but all I want you to do for this one is to name the type of reaction and the reagents involved in each step. So let's have a look at these different steps. So for step one, you have an electrophilic substitution. And this one is specifically an alkylation reaction. So you're adding on this group here. So you the reagent that you need will be C2H5Cl with an aluminium chloride catalyst. For step two, you're adding a bromine atom onto this alkyl group here. It's a substitution and it's a free radical substitution. You would need bromine and UV light for this to work. 
For step three, you're doing an elimination reaction. So you need KOH and it'll be in ethanol. For step four, you have an addition reaction and this one is of chlorine. So this will have the cyclic ion intermediate. Five is a nitration, which is another electrophilic substitution. And for that, you need a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid to allow you to produce your nucleophile, your electrophile of NO2+. Step six is a reduction and the reducing agent that you'll know of is lithium aluminium hydride. And then finally, step seven is a condensation reaction. And for that, you'll need ethanoic acid. Initially, this reaction will produce a salt, or an ammonium salt of the ethanoic acid. But to produce the amide link, you then just heat that up to drive off water. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now!